What's up guys, it's your boy DJ Avionics back with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger your audio DJ drops and your mix emergency video samples with the touch of one button on your MIDI controller of your choice. Let me demonstrate. DJ Avionics is in the mix. Just like that. So in Mix Emergency's video sampler, I'm using three different Neon FX stingers that I made for myself. You can order your own custom stingers at dbline.equid.com for a set of two for $8. And in Serato DJ Pro, I'm using the same audio drop for the three stingers. The MIDI controller I'm using is the Akai MPD-218. It's perfect for me because I can use the nice rubber pads to quickly trigger everything. And it's nice and slim to fit in my DJ backpack to transport to my video gigs. I suggest using a small and portable MIDI controller similar to this. So what this entails is MIDI mapping the Serato sampler and Mix Emergency's video sampler to my Akai controller. First, let's MIDI map the audio DJ drops in Serato. So let's go ahead and open up the sampler window. Now you'll notice I placed the three DJ drops for the three different stingers in slots 2, 3, and 4. Reason being is that I have the other slots triggering video samples that I don't want my DJ drop playing over. So go ahead and hit the MIDI button at the top right of Serato, right over here. We're going to go ahead and move this window. I don't know why that's triggering right now. So you can disregard the, uh, the MIDI panel for now. Actually, we don't even need to touch it. If you hover your cursor over a button, it will tell you that you can assign it to something. Just like that. So now we're going to go ahead and hover over slots 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to map them to the top row of my Akai. 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to disregard this pad, which is basically number 1. That way they all correspond from left to right, 1 to 4, and then the next row is 5 to 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, which will be 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, where we don't want audio samples. So let's go ahead and hover over and go ahead and click and then press your button. So in this case, we're going to press this one. All right. So now that tells us that it's been mapped. Let's go ahead and do that for number 3. Number four, click in there, touch your pad on your controller, and now they are mapped. All right, so let's give it a quick sound check. DJ Avionics is in the mix. DJ Avionics is in the mix. DJ Avionics is in the mix. All right, so all three of those are now mapped to your DJ drops. Okay, let's go ahead and disable the MIDI mapping by clicking on the MIDI button again at the top. Now to open up Mix Emergency's video sampler, go up top to the window and click Sample Player. So drag your cursor up top. Actually, you gotta click on one of the Mix Emergency windows. Click Window, and then click Sample Player. And there's the a video sampler. I like to place mine right here. That way it's out of view of my library. Sample player has eight available slots and then four different banks, A, B, C, and D. So technically you have up to 32 video samples that you can trigger. Normally you would trigger these by clicking your cursor in the slot window right here. Let me go ahead and bring our preview window back up. And there we go, we have Groot dancing on the screen. Pay attention to the layout left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, as it correlates with Serato Sampler, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, left to right. I'm going to go ahead and load up my three stinger samples in slots 2, 3, and 4 in bank A, which is a blank slate. Let's go ahead and put this one, number 2, put this in number 3, that one in number 4. All right. So now we have these in here. So now we're going to MIDI map the different stingers in slots two, three, and four. 
Let's bring up the main mix emergency control panel using the keyboard shortcut command plus the one button. Let's go ahead and close my finder window. And here we have the, uh, the main control panel and the MIDI button. So go ahead and click the toggle MIDI mapping button. I'm going to go ahead and erase my current mapping so you can follow along. And just for future reference, to do that you click on one of the currently mapped ones which is green. And then you hit the X button. Now you'll notice all the buttons are red, meaning they are not currently mapped to anything outside of your laptop. After you've mapped a function, it will turn green. So I'm going to go ahead and click on slot 2. The red learn window will appear, and all you have to do here is touch the pad or button on your MIDI controller you want to assign it to. So this one. DJ Avionics is in the mix. So let's go ahead and map the other two. Click on Click on in the window of number three, the red window appears, hit your button. DJ Avionics is in the mix. Let's turn green. Okay, let's do that for number four. Click in the window, the red wind, uh, the red panel shows up, and then click your button. DJ Avionics is in the mix. And now you're basically done. So go ahead and click the MIDI toggle button again in the main mix emergency control panel. And let's go ahead and do a visual and sound check. So let's pay attention to the preview window and pay attention to the speakers. DJ Avionics is in the mix. DJ Avionics is in the mix. DJ Avionics is in the mix. <coughs> and there you go. There you have it. Now your DJ drops that are in Serato DJ Sampler and your video samples and Mix Emergency are now linked together through one button. Once again, if you're interested in getting your own Neon FX stingers to load up in the video sampler, visit dbline.equid.com. There's almost 40 different designs to choose from. And please don't forget to hit that like button if my tutorial video helped. Go ahead and comment down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you guys next time.